What's up everybody? It's your girl Libby on the label and it is finally 2019. So you know what that means. Liberary is here. It's my birth month takeover. The moment we've all been waiting for. I'm so excited. If y'all want to know why I'm so dressed up, it's because I decided to go out with y'all for New Year's. Y'all can take me anywhere in your little pocket. All you got to do is subscribe, sis. But let's get on into this vision board party because we got to manifest our dreams, goals, everything we want for ourselves in 2019. It's time to manifest it and get it, sis. So let's go. So y'all, this year, instead of going out, cause it's cold as shit out here in Korea, and I didn't really have any plans, and I said, you know what? I'ma do a vision board party with my damn self. So here we go. I got my drink. Let me. I'm, I'll be right back. Let me show y'all what I'm drinking. All right, yeah, I'm back on my little drinky drink, but. While we're at it, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click the button down below. We're not going to do it in the new year. We're not going to keep coming back, watching my videos, and not being a part of the family. So go ahead and be a part of the family. Also, in 2018, oh shit, see I'm already messing up y'all. In 2019, we want to give my family members a name. Y'all comment down below and what? let me know what I should call my squad. Let me know what I should call my team. Let me know what I should call my family. What y'all think? Y'all give me some good ideas and we'll run with it down below. So let's get into this drink. So everybody, so in Korea, a big drink is soju. And soju to me, it's a neutral flavor spirit. That's what it says here. So soju to me is like vodka, kind of, but it's like watered down vodka. It ain't like uh, strong, but sis. Soju will put you on your boo boo, baby. <laughs> I'm telling you, you. I'm trying to stop cursing so bad in 2019, y'all. That's why I'm keep like whatever. But Soju will have you somewhere, and you don't even know you there, like for real. So everybody keeps telling me, everybody keeps telling me that the grapefruit soju is good. So that's what your girl got sipping on my grapefruit soju. I mixed it with, um, I love aloe vera juice, if y'all don't know, it got like little aloe vera pieces in it. But I mixed it with some guava aloe vera juice and some Iz, Izzy, I think it is, sparkling grapefruit, um, like soda. My mother-in-law put me on that, it's so good. So yeah, that's what your girl is sipping on. I put me, I had mixed me one and put it up in the freezer because I don't really have no ice because I, I don't know. It's not like an ice maker in the thing or whatever, but whatever. I'm going to finish this one off, then I'm going to start on this one. But we're going to get into it with the, um, y'all, what's up that it's called? <laughs> I swear I ain't even lit yet. Maybe I should take a shot. It was just the new year. Maybe after I finish this, I'll take a shot with y'all. All right, yeah. I have a technical difficulties with this dress, but we gonna make it happen. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through. I already did my uh, boards. So my boards, I put them on plates. The reason I put decided to put my vision boards on plates this year because I am the type of person when I do a vision board, I just put so much shit on it. Like anything that moves me or anything that I like that's appealing to the eye, I put it on there. And I feel like in 2019, the reason I put them on plates is because to be more specific. They say uh, be specific in what you want and all of this different stuff. And you know, sometimes we might bite off more than we can chew. So I decided I want to put only on my plate. Um, I want to put. Um, how do I fucking say it? Yeah, that's why I ain't lit. But every time I get stumbled on my words, I'm gonna take another sip. Y'all count how many times I gotta take a sip because I stumble my words. So 
I decided I was going to be more specific in what I wanted to manifest in 2019. So I tried to not crowd the board with so many things and I tried to split it up into different stuff. So the first one I'll share with you guys is like family board, family home type of board. So let me see. I don't even know if y'all can see this. So yeah, this is my family board. So this board is just basically like some pictures of some homes, some crystals, because I like to like burn sage and get into the crystal thing and you know have a clean home. I just want to manifest and because I'm this year I'm saving to buy a house when I get back to the states and all of that stuff. So just surrounding family, like my immediate family, as in my husband, my dogs, and then one day my babies. Not to about 2021. Y'all can pump y'all brakes on that. However. I'm starting to prepare for them in 2019 so that's that good food of course southern living because you know your girl gotta buy a house in the south <laughs> it's best there but you know I'm gonna be bi-coastal and shit I'm gonna be uh, I was trying to stop crazy I'm gonna be foreign just like I'm foreign right now but yes so this is my home one uh, one of the quotes on here says first comes love then comes a walk down the dinnerware aisle and I like that because I love these little gold dinnerware right there. So, so I put them on plates. Um, you know, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew. So I put what I can eat on my plate. And that's that's the um, ideal behind that when I decided to do my vision boards. And I put little stickies on the back so I can put it on my wall. All right, y'all. Yeah. On to the next one. Now, this may be a little ironic while I sit here and eat um, crackers and cheese. But y'all don't judge me. This is my fitness one. But not even my fitness one. This is Hope. This is my one um, on Hill. Say, this one says fitness all the way. Athlete. What I eat in a day. Exfoliate, nourish, enhance, hydration. And basically this is just all around health. Like I want to continue to eat healthy. I want to build myself as an athlete. Like. Some of y'all may know I did my first bodybuilding competition last year and I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, we did it real quick. quick. I go to another drink, man. Dang. This one ain't. This one ain't Ooh, that good. I can't talk to save my life. So, <laughs> like I said, we did a quick prep. You know, I dropped about 30 pounds in about 12 to 14 weeks. And I was very proud of that. But this year I'm ready to kick it on to the next not next notch. Jesus. Kick it up to the next notch and do what I gotta do. Just a couple pictures of some food. This is a picture of a natural lady. She got a big natural fro. And this year, y'all, I'm taking care of my hair and I'm vowing to myself that I'm not gonna cut it until it gets to a certain length that I want it because I want a big stupid nasty luscious Instagram naturalista fro you know what I'm saying so I got some little kinky curly there just to show that and hydration I want to make sure I'm hydrating my body because y'all if you don't believe me you better ask somebody drinking water will have your skin flourishing your hair flourishing your body flourishing and if you drink water and mind your business your life flourishing Sis, we just going to flourish in 2019. Drink water and mind your business. All right, y'all. I'm going to just have to make a little another drink right quick because I keep stumbling over my words. We both know that. And this one not throwing out that good. And I don't want y'all to think I'm cheating, y'all. Not taking my drink, drinks. But the next board I'm going to share with y'all is about traveling, y'all. Like, everybody want to know, like, okay, so me and my husband been together. 10 plus years at this point we've been married a year going on two at this point i'm gonna be 26 in three days at this point everybody like oh what the babies like even my dad even my mom like they really want some grandkids and it ain't that i don't want to give them to them i really want kids and i'm really you know Looking forward to having kids, but I want to bring them in the right situation. You know, I want to be settled and right or whatever. So, your girl been under Uncle Sam's thumb for five years. 
going on six. Your girl gets off and under Uncle Sam's thumb. June 29th. Y'all, hold on. Stop what y'all doing right now. Everybody go right now. Get out their phone. Take out their calendar. However you track important dates. And write June, on June 29th, 2020. Caca. Libby is released to freedom. Released to the wild. Speaking of the wild, this is my traveling one. Got a little wild giraffe on there. But no, for real. I will be free to do and go as I please more, um, well, how would I say that? More openly, more freely, I guess. I'll be free to go, okay? And I want to be able to travel and enjoy my husband, just me and my husband, before we bring a baby into the world. So, you know, the babies are coming, y'all, I promise. But pump your brakes. Your girl need to travel a bit first. So, on here, I got... The suitcase, United Airlines. I'm not saying I'm necessarily going to fly United. But it was all that I could find in my magazines. Because that's another story for another time. Pictures. I want to take more pictures. I want to capture these moments so that when I do have kids, they can see, oh, your mom, your dad, your family was out enjoying these moments in life. So, I also got a picture of this lady right here. She in on the um, coast of Cape, Cape Cod. And your girl want to travel everywhere. I got this big giraffe here because I really want to go and push my comfort zone. Like, get out of my comfort zone. And I'm comfortable not being around wild animals. Because, y'all, I don't like being... Okay. If y'all know me, know me, know me, know me, <laughs> then y'all know I do not like being in the middle of nowhere. Like, I don't know. I get some type of anxiety, some type of phobia. I don't like it. Especially not if I like my mind just start going crazy like what kind of animals spiders whatever is out here and I don't like it so I want to get out of my comfort zone and do stuff that I would not normally do and I want to travel the world and then I have some babies okay so the next board your girl got in 2019 y'all I really want to be more um well versed on just how would I say this? Important people, like in our generation, that are doing important things. Black people. Not necessarily black people, but for me, personally, like, so when I raise my kids, I'm raising them in a whole other generation than I was born. And I know the facts from back when my mom was born. And before. You know what I mean? Okay, let me give y'all an example of like, dang, what did I just say? <laughs> Let me give y'all an example. An example. Jesus. I'm going to be lit by the end of this video. So, let me give y'all an example. For for example. Um, what's the... <laughs> Black History Month. In Black History Month, we still, you know, for me, I, mean, I know the basis. Rosa Parks, you know, uh, Sojourner Truth. Uh, Harriet Tugman, Madam C.J. Walker, you know, all these great people that did great things for us, but it's people in our times right now, like Yara Shahidi, the girl's 18 years old, I believe, and she's just so popping, y'all, I hope I raise kids that great, but, like, young people like that, that like me and like you, that are out there and doing things for our generation that is noteworthy, you know, and I feel like I should know about you know, I'm not really, I'm on social media and all that stuff, but I don't have TV and I don't read enough. And they say if you want to keep some knowledge from somebody, put it in a book. And they ain't never lie. But I'm going to read more. So on this one, I just really want to be more um, aware of the greatness that, that is that's around me. So I got women on a mission, book lovers. And down there, I got uh, Michelle Obama's Becoming Michelle book that just came out. I got this lady here, Laura Underwood. She's 32. The Health and Human Services Advisor in the Obama Administration is the first woman to win her district house seat. Like, that's some big shit. And I should know that, but I ain't know it until I was reading this 
uh, magazine. This other lady is, I'm gonna butcher her name, Ilhan Omar. And uh, when she was eight, she fled civil war from Somalia. She came here, she's a mother, she worked in public health, and she became the first one of the first two Muslim women in Congress. Like, that's big shit. And I should know that, but I don't, you know. So, I like, this year my goals are definitely to read more, just to know more knowledge. And two other people I cannot forget to mention is my girl Issa Rae. If y'all don't watch her show uh, Insecure, you are missing out. That show is so lit, like... Our people are lit, man. If you don't know that, then you're missing out. Like, go find yourself some culture, for real. And, of course, my girl, Angela Bassett. Y'all, I, I don't even have words for how much I love this lady. Like, I just want to be this fine when I'm 60. Like, for real. And then the next one is uh, something I didn't even know about. Because why? I don't read. I'm going to do better. It's called Well Read Black Girls Finding Our Stories, Discovering Ourselves. So, apparently, um... It um, it's a book club and digital platform that honors the role of black literature in sisterhood. The books include collections of essays written by black women discussing the challenges of womanhood and the power of self-discovery through literature. So, like, it's great shit out there like that and I ain't even a part of it because... I refuse to crack a book. And I did crack a couple books in 2018, but I didn't finish them. And that's not how we doing it in 2019. We start something, we're going to finish it. Point blank, period. Before my camera cuts off and dies, this one is just a bunch of different words or quotes that I want to push forward into 2019. So it says, a season of innovators, happy, so happiness, dreams, black brilliance. Do you see that? Black brilliance. That's just what I was talking about. Entrepreneurs. Y'all, if y'all don't take nothing out of my book. <laughs> out of my book. <laughs> if y'all don't take nothing I say, take this. Start your own business, y'all. Everybody is good at something. Find your niche and move. You understand what I'm saying? Like, possibilities are endless. If you don't know where to start, find a book. It's a book somewhere out there that can tell you where to start. Y'all need to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, matter of fact, most of y'all probably need to read um, You're a Badass. I don't know who it's about right now, but I'll put a picture up somewhere or in the description and let y'all know. But read You're a Badass. Like, because you a badass. Like, you out here got all this opportunity. All you got to do is make something shake. Um... Tis the season to sparkle and glow. Y'all see it? You see how your girl coming in 2019? How your girl coming in 2019? Hey. So, last thing I want to share with you guys is I love bamboo. So, I got me a bamboo plant. It's considered like a lucky plant. And you know, it's, I don't know if it's native to Korea, but it's native to Asian countries or whatever. But, this is just to bring me peace and all of that good stuff that it brings good luck, lucky bamboo, into the new year. And it was only 626, y'all, and it came potted and already cute like that. So, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Another thing I end up getting for myself is a yoga mat because I did say in 2019 I wanted to start to get into yoga, just stretching at least in the morning. Um, because I'm terrible at stretching, so that's something that I wanted to get. Video, I hope you guys enjoyed my um, vision board party. I wanted to share that with you guys. In 2019, I challenge you to pick a word that you want to exude throughout your life. Um, my word that I chose, I just talked to my cousins and heard what they chose. Um... But I'd like to know what you guys choose down below. My word for 2019 is manifest. In 2019, I'm going to manifest everything I want over my life, over other, you know, um, not over others' lives, but in my family's lives and just what I want for us as a unit. 2019 is all about manifesting everything that I could even want, imagine, 
whatever 2019 for me will be a manifest year i'm going to manifest and make things happen that i want to happen because i know that i have the capacity to do so um and if you know you got the capacity to do whatever you want to do please go out there and do it as well make 2019 a great year y'all we already off to a great start all we got to do is keep the ball rolling. Y'all, I got to hurry up and get on YouTube because one of my favorite YouTubers just had her twins. Keisha Kaylee just had her twins, her and Jeremy, and I'm so, so happy for them, y'all. I hope awesome. you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're already not subscribed, if you're already not subscribed, I got to take a drink off of that. If you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe down below join the family don't forget to let me know what should we call this family let me know comment down below um share this video y'all um you know just spread good vibes in 2019 and i'm a good vibe so spread me around Ow. <laughs> but i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video don't forget it's liberary so we got videos coming left and right just for you and i'll see you in the next one your girl Libby on the label and i'm shining bright like a diamond because it's new year's here in korea i want to welcome you a new year's i got a drink to that i want to dang wish you guys a happy new year's all the way from here in korea go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you like the idea of this video if you don't like the idea of this video give me a big thumbs up in 2019 we just supporting people so support me <laughs>